Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to my channel, Live More Outdoors. It has been, I don't know, quite a while since I posted a video. Uh, my wife, she had a pretty rough spell. She had to spend a couple days in the hospital and then had some gamma knife surgery done, but got her back home and she seems to be doing a lot better and gaining her strength back. So uh, at least I'm able to get outside. I'm, I feel blessed just for that, just be out here blowing traps and stuff. I haven't been out archery hunting yet, but uh, I'm going to show you what I got going on with the traps boiling here and hopefully we'll be out on the line here. I hope more that my wife stays doing well though. I basically I do my stuff old school method. <laughs> boiling them up you know, in a logwood dye basically. I got a big pot but I can get a, a ton of stuff in there. I got about 28 traps in there. Half a dozen drags or more. Steaks. All kinds of stuff in there. I just use old skid pallet stuff for my for my firewood get them from local hardware i'll let them boil for well basically i don't time them or anything really i just once that gets to a rolling boil i'll let the fire die down that'll slow down i'll pull my traps out get the next batch in there and get it back to a boil while those are boiling up then i'll be over here take my traps away from the smoke i'll hang them up on here on these nails let them dry out really well before I put them into the wax I got my wax heating up right now I'll be getting them in here pretty soon I'm gonna have to add a little bit more wax to that and doing this over flame is pretty dangerous so if you do this over an open flame with the wax gotta be careful you don't splatter anything around so uh, so basically once they're put into the wax let them heat up until they're the same temperature as the wax and you can sort of tell that, that when you first put them in there they'll turn like a whitish color and the wax will be real thick on them but then they'll slowly just uh, turn back to the trap color, basically a, your uh, your dyed trap color. Pull them out, get them away from there, shake them off so you don't splatter stuff in the flame, and then hang them up, let them dry, and they'll be ready to go for the season. Uh, what else I got going on? I got some uh, made some more coyote cable restraints, one by nineteen cable, and got them painted up sort of camouflage here I spray paint them I'll let them hang here for quite a while they've been hanging for a while once I get steaks on them I'll put them into one gallon sandwich baggies I got some coyote a little bit of coyote scat uh, gathered up my bees they did really well this year I got probably close to 40 gallons of honey out of the suckers this year so they did really well and that's probably over 400 pounds of honey it's amazing what them little critters will do all right, once I get the uh, everything boiled up and waxed, I'll show you my finished product. Well, I got a little lull in the action, so I just thought I'd give you a, here's one tip. If you've never boiled and waxed traps before, make sure your traps are definitely dry before you put them into hot wax because it can cause a, it can be bad. So just, that's why I got these traps sitting out in the asphalt. They're drying up nicely before I put them into hot wax. Now I thought I'd just show you my drag setup. This is my homemade drag out of half inch rebar. I showed a video on making those one time. Just basically bend some half inch rebar and put some points on them and stuff. But And then I got about eight feet of chain. And then I got a swivel. And then I got like a couple more feet of chain, about two feet of chain. So then there's, and there's two swivels on the trap. So I've got lots of swiveling points. And this is number two MB chain right there. So just thought I'd show you that setup. And I'm almost done. I'll show you my final product of everything here well here's the finished product I did 52 traps two dozen or a buddy of mine and uh, did up two dozen of trap for him and some uh, earth anchors for him I did about I think eight or ten dra eight drags maybe and oh yeah I did a few rebar stakes as well first time I've ever dyed and waxed i'm not even sure if you got to do this but they're my buddies so i dyed and waxed rebar steaks as well so and that's about it so i hope you enjoyed this video in a couple weeks we'll be putting some steel on the ground hopefully thanks for tuning in and have a great day